Hello everyone, it's Diane. I'm going to do a flip and drag with four nine ounce cups on a 12 by 24 canvas. I did this on a gallery wrap canvas earlier this evening for my own collection uh, to match the blanket we got in New Mexico that I'm going to hang as a tapestry. It's not necessarily a blanket. It's, it could be either. And I'm going to use it as a tapestry. Excuse me while I move all this stuff. But I need to... I was mixing some paints and I want to get this over here and maybe some cups to put under it to support it that would be good because I'm currently using all my other stands I would use those I highly recommend the orange stands um, you can find them on Amazon they are ten dollars a set I think they're very good for anything that's you know large um, I use them mostly for resin projects but I've been using them also for other things and let me just see if this is level huh. good enough for government work and if any of you know have worked for the government you know that <laughs> it's okay <laughs> So I'm just sitting here mixing up um, some, I added some red into the raw umber color I have because I wanted more of a reddish tone. The first gallery rep piece I did for us earlier tonight turned out good and it's in my bun rack. But when I recorded it, I think it was a setting which I have to learn more about this new software I'm using. Um, it won't let me voice over it. So it'd be like you sitting there just like watching me with no music, nothing. It won't let me do anything to it. So I thought, well, I'll do another one and see if it comes out as good or better. I'm sure it'll be different, right? You can never get two things exactly the same. So, but I, but I, I used for that, I used red ochre and I'm out of red ochre now. So now I'm using raw umber with a little bit of red added to it. And it has a good consistency. And I'm using yellow ochre. These are Soho. I will tell you the colors as I use them because I'm going to layer them in my cups. So... I'm going to pour them down the side when I say I'm going to layer them. I'm going to, I'll do one here, but not as a general rule. Just going to pour it down the side like this. Until there's a nice amount on the bottom. And we're going to get four cups ready to go here. Well, not this cup, this cup has something in it. Let me find another one. spray a little silicone. Um, one thing I did not do is add uh, silicone like I, I usually do to the colors so I will add it to these cups like halfway through. Hmm, this could this could be a good very close to being red ochre. Just add, I just added some Artist Loft Low Acrylic Red into the Soho Raw Umber. That's what I did there. So next I'm going to put in... Hmm, let's go with the... Next I'm going to put in the Lucas Cadmium Orange and I'm just layering on top. These are not mixing. 
I mean, they will eventually, but they're not right now. And it amazes me how you could, you know, layer cups the same, and then when you flip and drag them on the canvas, they come out completely different. So this will be interesting, to say the least. After that, I'm going to go in with my only transparent um, Soho Dioxazine Violet, which I wish there was more of in the last one I did, but I'll put more in this time. After that, I'm going to go in, I don't feel confident about the yellow ochre. I'm going to go in with the, the Lucas Curl Turquoise. One thing I'm not including in this that I did the other video that you can't hear me on, which is pointless to show, um, is I used the Lucas Curl Beige, which is beige. It's like a very light off-white. And uh, I'm not layering that in. That's, I think, the only difference. You got a toothpick. Toothpick. Yeah, that'll do good, Diane. Pardon me, I couldn't sleep, so I'm painting, but I can't think. This is Deco Art Metallic Peacock, which I really like. That's going to lay on top very nicely. After this, I will add a little silicone. Just enough to give it some good cells. I would like to know how to get those perfect cells. Not the small tiny ones you get from... That's what I get from the treadmill. I swear I just get the tiny ones. Which is why I switched to using the hair serum. Which is currently MIA. Probably because I've been doing too much stuff. Ah, here it is. Um, and I'm just, you got to be very careful with this hair serum, serum, so I'm only putting in like two in each of these. One, two, one, two. Okay. So anyway, as I was saying, Heather Wright, check out her channel if you haven't already. She gets these amazing large cells, and they don't move. And I think it has to do with the, she must have like the perfect paint consistency or something. Um, I'm going in here with a little black. It's a little thick, so I'm going to water it up a minute. Her and Doug Fair, who I've seen on the Porage Posse, and I've checked out his YouTube channel, they get these perfect, just the perfect cells that I want. Um, and other people do as well, but they're the two that come to mind right now. And I would just love to know what the secret is. I've been doing this for several months now, over a half a year, and I still cannot get those cells. I think it's a matter of paint consistency. I really do. I don't know if they use a thinner paint than I do. It's the only thing I can come up with. So I guess I'll have to thin out my paints. I like a medium consistent consistency paint though, so not really sure how that would work out, but let me just go in here with my yellow ochre. And these are nicely layering on top. And that's another thing that has to do with consistency. You know, if it's too fluid, it's not just going to lay on top and layer nicely. Which, for a lot of pores, you want. 
Some parts you don't. Okay. Yeah, a little, little more to this. Okay. So now back to the cadmium orange hue. I love when somebody asks me in the comments what colors I used in my video. If you watched my video, I tell you at all times what colors, what brands I use. I may not tell you in the very beginning or the very end. I may tell you somewhere in the middle. But if you watched it, you would know. That's all I'm saying. Right? We want people to watch our videos. So just go ahead and I'm gonna go in with a little Naples yellow. Just go ahead and watch the video and you can see what colors I used. All right. And then just for good measure, um, this is Rose Matter with iridescent medium in it. Squirting it right down the middle. Just because. It might not be the color, it might not be on that blanket, but I love it. So, down it shall go. And everything is very colorful in New Mexico. I loved it there. Especially Santa Fe. Uh, it's like an artist's dreamland. Just putting away this Deco Art Metallic Peacock color, which I highly recommend. It's darker than the teal, than the Deco Art teal, because I also have that here mixed up. But it's darker and has more blue in it. All right, so flip and drag once I get all this off of my canvas that I just got on. Now nah, nobody's going to see it anyway. Okay. I'm going to bring the camera, move it a little bit so you can see it better. There you go, I got most of the canvas. And flip, flip, flip. Oh, not a good idea, Diane. Didn't think about that. Oh, shoot, now I gotta pick that one up differently. Hold, please. Mechanical problems. Now I'm going to be much more careful because I hadn't considered that this is not on here well because they're not my big fat orange ones I'm used to. So the silicone's making it all come down nice there. Yay. Just let that drop for, for a minute. If you all would leave me a comment below and tell me what you'd like me to do, what you'd like to see, I'd be happy to oblige. I'm going to be mixing some colors. So I will have 30 or 50 somewhere in there, somewhere between those two, because I ordered a boatload of Floetrol from a place that wasn't Home Depot or Lowe's. I honestly do not remember the name of it. Um, but I will tell y'all because I got it for cheap. Cheap! I got it cheap! Um, I think it was just like some paint supply store online, but I will put their name down as soon as I find the box in the garage that I got it from. All that to say, I have enough to go ahead and mix paint, so. All right, let's start in the middle, shall we? Oh, my red 
mix is really taking over there. It's all right. I'm good with that. Oh, damn. Now I gotta do that. Excuse me. Sorry, I cursed. I was not expecting that. I need to hold this. I should just take it off these cups. Let's forget these cups. Let's just go for it. Oh, I like that. Like it, like it, like it. Don't want to lose it. Gonna have to tilt it. Ooh, a lot of that red again in that one. Oh, please don't overtake everything. I didn't think I put that much red in there. So we'll just let this come out here a minute. I'm going to see if I can bring some of this paint back up onto the canvas. Onto the canvas. Okay. I don't want mud, but. That's good. Okay, now let's torch this. See how I only have a couple big cells coming up? It's probably because I didn't put silicone in ahead of time. It's a shame. The one that has no sound turned out really good. I might just put it to music and just to show y'all. But if you see it, you know why it has no sound. Okay, let's get some of that red off. I don't care for that. Sorry, you can't see all this right now. I'm just taking it off the edges, bringing it back. Oh, I do like these colors together. Loving the turquoise. Bringing it back down. See, it flows really well, so I don't think it's, I personally don't think it's my uh, paint consistency that would be the cell issue. That's pretty cool. Look at that. I dig it. I really like that. Really don't want to set it down on all this paint that I could pull off for skins. Look at that. Still got a bunch of red here. Let's try and get some more of that off. Go. Be gone. How's that look? That look pretty cool. Yeah, I dig it. So now I'm just standing here looking where I can put this. Because I don't want to set it down in this paint. And my rock is pretty freaking full. Okay. Well, I have no choice but to set it down. So I'm going to go down here where I have more room. Let's paint. Get some paper towels. Clean my gloves up. Go from there. This is this is live, people. This is real life painting. Real life. That's how we do it. If you don't get paint all over yourself, then you're not painting correctly. Let's say that. Let's, let's go with that. Wow, this, this is cool, man. I really dig all these colors. I dig it. I'm 
I think I'm going to do a dip in that once I get a tray out for my pour. Yeah, I have one free. I'm going to set it to the side here. This is where painting late at night, unprepared does not work because my husband usually helps me move these to the trays. I don't like to usually do it on the tray because it leaves a lot of paint. I am going to love this. I do love it. It is fabulous. Fabulous. Okay. Let me get it up on my tray. Oh, come on, you bugger. did it. All right, let me put y'all on pause and I'm going to come back and do a dip.